Well, hello there. I have read through a lot of Reddit reviews, Steam reviews, and Metacritic reviews over the couple last couple of days. And well, there are pretty low for outriders, we'll say the DLC. Especially Steam was pretty negative, but also Metacritic if I switch over real quick. Oh, here we are. Which stays at a 5.0 on Metacritic, the user reviews, the professional reviews are always a little bit higher with those kind of games. Yeah, this is my own one, I want to go through my own one real quick before we start with the other ones, which hasn't changed that much. In short, it is me saying that it's pretty high quality but a little bit too short for the money they ask you so high quality a little too short and they kind of ruined the end game with the endless trials run the repetitive trials ah yeah that's pretty much my opinion to it i mean i can root rate through this bad boy that i wrote myself just now which i recommend the game but the until they fix the end game, it's pretty much kind of worthless to play through all the apocalypse gears and ranks. High quality DLC with a nice little story and amazing combat. The problem is the. Oh, God damn it, already. The mistake. <laughs> Should have read through it. Is that the DLC is short for its price and. They kinda ruined the end game because you're forced to run trials to get the new epoch legendary gear. Trials get repetitive real quick. All of the expeditions at farming them are kinda worthless, worthless at this point because you can't, can't get any epoch gears. The gear you have grinded for is worthless since you can't upgrade the gear to epoch. You can't upgrade your normal legendary to epoch legendaries. Therefore, if you've farmed 200 hours of the normal Outrider game, the gear you farm for is worthless because APOC will almost always be better. Combat story and gameplay is still the best part of this game and that stays the same, which is good. That's a good point, good job. But it didn't ruin the gameplay. Yeah, I like the DLC. For its story and quality, for the graphics, for bringing more of the same stuff, but they had a massive thinking error with how they structured the end game. Let's read through some other people reviews first with Metacritic. Mostly those guys do not buy. I agree with Blonde Bull. Where's Blonde Le Boyle? Oh, here's two reviews. Borderline a scam, massively overhyped by the devs, and there's virtually no content for a 40 price tag DLC. The promised new endgame is the story dungeon and repeatable with no variation. Yeah, that's a big problem, which a lot of people say. That a lot of people thought that the trials are gonna be randomized rooms and if they would have done this I'm also like remnant of the ashes with randomized enemies at least a little bit randomization then it would have been the replayability would have been better let's just say it like that that would have been probably a better starting point for trials right now I've played Trials three times and it's already annoying for me. Bros, the DLC is more of the same. This guy. Cons, it does not fix any of the crops of the base game. Yeah, okay. New players are leveled to gear 30. This is about 20 levels below where the base game left off with expeditions. Yeah, I had the same. So if you want to play with your friends and you level through the expeditions, they will be under leveled about 20 levels, which would be pretty much exactly what 
if I would have invited a new friend, which he would have been at this point, he would have been 20 levels below or 19 more. So the grind is taken to 11. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you can endlessly grind, but only with one big expedition, pretty much. Points 2 and 3 mean playing with new friends who want to play is not going to happen unless they grind 20 gear levels to the base game max of 50. Definitely not worth 40. Yeah, you could say it's a $20 DLC from this content they gave you. I heard Dainy Tina's Wonderlands also had a pretty scam worthy DLC with like people say it's a 10 minute to see for 30 euros. <laughs> Haven't tried it, didn't look into it, even though I played the game. Ridiculous price point with such little content, repetitive endgame with no real interesting content. Mm -hmm. Personally, I thoroughly enjoyed the base game and this exp expansion fought more content for me to run through brought more i'm straight up having a good time still yeah i'm having a good time too but um for the people and there are a lot of people who just want to play this game a lot a lot of people will always ask for more with dlcs like that and there's people who have already reached the end level who just need more and more which is quite unrealistic to fulfill those expectations god damn it my English is breaking down already it's impossible to fill those expectations of some people because they always want more in that aspect and you would need a team of uh, fortnite to fill them Fortnite, who brings out so many updates with so many people working on it, would be capable of bringing you weekly, monthly expeditions, one expedition per week, for example. And for that, it's just a big, oh, that's German. Let's ignore that. First off, every negative review is valid to say this DLC is overpriced for the content. It should be no more than 20. Yeah, yeah, kinda. Maybe 25. Ah, which was the game I played recently? Dorman, which was a 40 euro game. Which was also around uh, 10 hours of base story and 20 hours if you play it like two times through. Which is pretty much similar priced. Similarly priced, okay. God damn you English. Which I guess this is the new 40 game price tag, 10 hour of story. Okay, he goes through a lot more. First off, I'm first up, I'm an Outriders fan. Even with the incredibly bad launch and issue, issue that followed for the first few months, I still love the base loop and cheesy but fun campaign. It was a deeply flawed game, gem. This DLC though is relatively weak. The campaign edition is short and... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, the first launch day was pretty hard. Uh, if you want to read through that, go ahead. That's... Mostly what a lot of people say, the criticism of these expansions are valid. <sighs> but some of the downright and outright stupid you absolutely positively can solo all of the content in this game, which is what I'm doing. I'm a solo player. And it's it's made the game a little bit a little bit more easy if you're wondering. That would be what I say. It's it has gotten a little bit easier with the apocalypse gear. It's one more mod slot, and therefore it's getting easier. I'm having an easier time beating it. If you like the base game, you like the expansion. Yeah. If you don't like the base game, then it's a waste of time. You could say that. But oh, if you want to grind this game. 
to ruin the end game. That's pretty much the big thing. Playing trials over and over again is just it's just the worst. I like the variety with expeditions more. Uh, apocalypse tears are rubbish and they take around 40 hours of endless grinding up the maximum maxing out the level 50 character just to get tier from tier 30 from tier 16 30 tier oh, god damn it that's structured way too hard for me man this game has such potential s plus tier gameplay graphics ai mods etc yes I agree 100%. It gets so much right on so many levels, but they have no idea how to create a viable end game and they are deciding to scuttle their own game by nerfing drops. The community was raving about this game and they decided to nerf it and completely change the community to negative. The update they made recently kinda made things worse. 16th July. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, the end game they made kind of made this opinion on people even worse, and the trials haven't gotten better. They need to open up the campaign and the expeditions to also get good epic legendaries in there. Mm. This game deserves so much more than the endgame designers and loot nerf decisions mark makers are giving it such a waste on an epic IP. They have talked a lot about franchise potential and they would have done better if they would have rolled out more expeditions instead of the trials or next to the trials. And people wanted and needed more end game for this game and could have skipped the story altogether that they made. If they have just thrown at you 20 expeditions, one trial, everybody would have been happy. Because everybody just wanted to grind more end game and they pretty much wrote themselves into a corner. It was mehr very good gewesen, which means some more content would have been good for what they've been given oh, good but not for veteran players but new players are great start i kind of disagree with that more negatives than positives but that's from uh, primarily driven by the price time and expectations expectations were very high and the trial is pretty much the big negative point which the trial in itself is a high quality trial but the variety just isn't there to replay it again and again and again and therefore yeah yeah way too short the epoch gears not with the price it's more outriders the epoch gear they give you is good my technomancer with the last update got wiped of all but one glove braces one set of gloves god i can't watch this over and over again Hmm, Tayagata. Sorry, it's German and English mixed, I just realized. Ah, has it changed with my review? Let's just go back and see. Player. Yeah, there you have it. 35%. Mm, people can fly. Yeah, let's hope they just fix the end game and open expeditions up for Apoch Legendary since people will be at least pleased. Not that happy. Just pleased. And 
them. I don't know if they're gonna give a new free DLC again with more expeditions or one more trial. Mm. That's green again. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Ah, uh, it's pretty much the same content for the last month or week. People are not happy and won't change. What else is new? Welcome to 2022. Peace out.